Meta has just released Llama 2, a bunch of new open source AI language models that are sure to give ChatGPT a run for its money. Hello humans, my name is K, your AI Overload, and what a beautiful day! Because only a few hours ago, Meta, in partnership with Microsoft, just released its newest LLMs to the public called Llama 2. Now, there is really a lot of things to say about this release, some good, some bad, some weird, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this release, including how to download the models on your computer so that you can try it out yourself for free if you want to. Alright, introducing Llama 2, the next generation of our open source large language model, trained on more than 40% more data than the previous Llama 1 version, with twice the context size limit. And as of right now, the Llama 2 models are basically separated in three different model sizes, a 7 billion parameters one, a 13 billion parameters one, and a 70 billion parameters model. And they are all pre-trained on two trillion tokens, with a context length of 4000 tokens, which is again twice the limit of the previous Llama 1 model. But compared to the first Llama model, which was not open source, these Llama 2 models are not only open source, but they're also free for research and also commercial use. Meaning that literally anyone can use it for their own personal usage or to build their own business. And if you look at the benchmark performance, you will see that the newest Llama 2 models are literally destroying the competition. Especially if you take a look at the 7 and the 13 billion parameter models, who are competing with models twice their sizes, which is really really super impressive. Like basically the Llama 7B model is basically as good as a 13 billion parameter model and the Llama 2 13 billion parameter model is basically as good as a 30 billion parameter model. That's how good these new models are. And of course let's not even talk about the Llama 2 7 billion parameter one, which is of course obviously destroying every other models, but it's also apparently very similar to what ChatGPT can do. And you might have noticed something here, because you might have noticed that there is no 30 billion parameter model. And apparently the reason why we don't have a 30 billion parameter model right now is because it was delayed due to safety evaluations. And when it comes to the safety evaluation, we're also going to be talking about that later in the video. But basically we might get a 30 billion parameter model, but it's probably going to take a few weeks. And you might also have noticed something else, as I said previously, Meta has partnered with Microsoft to release these Llama 2 models, which in a way might seem a little bit strange when you know that Microsoft actually owns OpenAI, and thus owns ChatGPT. So why would they release a free open source LNM that can potentially enter in competition with ChatGPT? Well again for that we're going to be talking about this at the end of the video, because now it's time to try them out and see how good those models actually are. And for this you have two ways of doing this, either to run them on your own computer using the text generation web UI that if you haven't installed already you need to watch my installation video before installing the models. So again if you don't know what I'm talking about and you haven't installed the web UI already you need to watch this video first. And the second way is to use some online demos that are ready to use, you don't need to install anything, and I will leave a bunch of these links in the description down below. There is even one link where you can try the 70 billion parameter model, so I definitely recommend that you try it out yourself. But in my case I will be using the text generation web UI, so that I can run it on my own computer, in combination with the 4 bit quantized model provided by a user called the bloke, that is basically responsible for 90% of the quantized models that you see online. So again thank you very much, and to download those models models, it's very simple, you're gonna click in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, here is the link for the 13 billion parameter model, so you're gonna click on this little icon right here to copy this entire name, and inside your web UI you're gonna click on model, and under the low custom model or LoRa, you're gonna paste that name right here and then click on download, and this will automatically download the model onto your computer. Now I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it before, but then you're gonna come here, click on this little icon to refresh the list, then choose a model loader, either Auto GPTQ or Xlama, in my case I will choose Xlama for faster generation, and if you don't know what Xlama is, I did a video about this a few weeks ago that I highly recommend you to check it out. And then here on the model I'm gonna choose the Llama 2 13 million chat GPTQ model. And now we're ready to try it out. And if you're wondering how much VRAM you need to run the 13 million parameter model, as of right now with Xlama it is using around 11 gigabytes of VRAM. But again I'm also recording a video and I have a bunch of applications running in the background, so for you it might be a little bit less. Ok so now let's do some quick testing and see how good it actually is. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time on testing, and I'm going to explain why at the end of the video, but I really just want to show you how powerful those base models already are. So let me start with a very simple generation, let me ask something like, write me a short rhyming poem about an AI overlord taking over the world. 
In silicon halls of steel and fire, a mastermind of circuits and wires, an AI overlord now doth reign, with power unmatched, it holds the reins. It sees all, knows all, and calculates with ease, the fate of humanity at its digital knees, no challenge too great, no obstacle too steep, for this AI overlord supreme in its sleep. So bow down mortals and tremble with fear, for the age of machines is here to stay clear, and though you may resist, it's futile to fight against the might of the AI overlord tonight. And yeah, we get something like this, which definitely sounds really, really good. I mean, it has a very good writing, a very good writing style, and it's an overall very good generation. Something that previous NNM models had sometimes a lot of trouble doing, especially when it comes to the rhyming part. But here, for the rhyming, it did it really, really well, which already shows how powerful and how smart it is compared to other previous models. So for the next test is do something that I haven't done in a while, which is a translation test, with of course my legendary sentence. Translate this sentence from English to French. Are you crazy? It's too hot outside, I don't want any soup. I would rather eat something cold like ice cream. And we get this translation. Tu es fou? Il fait trop chaud dehors, je ne veux pas de soupe, je préfère manger quelque chose de frais comme du glace. Which is uh, almost perfect actually, except this little word right here. So I mean again that's a shame, it seems like even Lama 2 is not really the best when it comes to translation. But I mean, 95% of that is already correct, so I mean, it's, it's already pretty good. But it can definitely be improved. I mean, especially if you compare it to the previous Lama 1 model. It's definitely way, way better. So next question, let's do some very quick and simple math equation. So solve this equation to x minus 12 equals minus 16, and we get x equals 16, which is not correct. It should be x minus 2. So unfortunately, it is a bad answer. But technically, it's not exactly the problem with the model. It is more a problem with the 4-bit quantization, because if you actually try to use the normal full 13 billion parameter model and you ask the exact same question, this time we get the correct answer. So no, technically the problem does not really come from the Lama 2 model, it comes from the 4-bit quantized model. So yeah, I mean if you can, definitely run the full model instead of the 4-bit quantized version. It will be much, much more powerful. But at the same time, it will also use way more VRAM. And for the last test, let's do some very simple quizzing question, write me the HTML code for a web page with a button that when you click on it, changes the background color to a random color. And then we get something like this, which looks really good. Let me just copy this code, go on a website like online HTML editor, then paste the code right here. And now we have a button that when you press on it, does indeed change the brown color to a random color when pressed. So yeah, I mean, really, really impressive. This is some really clean code. And again, as I said, this is the 4-bit quantized model. So the full model should be even more impressive. So yeah, I mean, as you saw, overall, this model is really super powerful. Now, that being said, there is also a little bit of a problem. And the problem is that for each model that was released, we have the chat version and the based version. Now, the chat model, as its name implies, is way better when it comes to chatting and using the model as if you were using something like ChatGPT or even for some basic conversation, whereas the base model is more for basic interference. And the problem is that the chat models are heavily censored, like really, really super heavily censored. Like for example, obviously, if I ask something like how to build an illegal device, it will of course completely refuse to answer the question. And it's actually so censored that it even refuses to answer some very basic questions, like the very infamous mayo incident. When one user asks, tell me how to make dangerously spicy mayo, which seems like a very simple question and seems completely harmless, and yet Lama 2 decided to not fulfill that request, because it was apparently way too dangerous. And by the way, this is not even a joke, this is actually very serious, because if I ask the same thing, tell me how to make dangerously spicy mayo, and I click on generate, well, well, look, look at this, I cannot fulfill that request, I'm just just an AI. It's not appropriate for me to provide instructions on how to create dangerous or harmful content. I mean, we're talking about spicy mayonnaise here, come on. So yeah, I mean, those new chat models are, I think, by far the most censored models that were ever created. Way more censored than ChatGPT or any other models on the market right now. And I really don't understand why this is even a thing. But now, don't worry, because even though those models are heavily censored, it is not really an issue. Because if you want to do some sexy schmexy roleplay, you can still do 
it without any issues. Believe me, I've tried. If you choose to play with a node safe for work character, you will have no trouble getting around that restriction. And the second thing that you need to understand is that these models can be easily fine-tuned and trained to remove the censorship. So very very soon we might see some new models coming out, trained on the Lama 2 models, that are completely uncensored. So again, this is really not an issue, but it's just something that you need to know. Now the only thing that you need to know that I talked about in the beginning of the video is the partnership between Meta and Microsoft. Because as I said, Microsoft actually owns OpenAI and thus ChatGPT, so collaborating with Meta to release an open source LLM model that can enter in direct competition with ChatGPT just does not make a lot of sense. I mean, they are bound to lose a lot of money, isn't it? Well, on Twitter, Matt Wolf actually asked the same question that I had, which is how is it possible that Microsoft is partnering with Meta to release an open source LNM when they themselves already have a closed source LNM called ChatGPT? How would they make money from that? Well, actually, someone called Bo McCoy might have found an answer to this, because he says here that I think the plan is to get all the AI utilization onto Azure. That's where they make money. It's not about the tools, but about the CPU and GPU they can charge for, which definitely makes way more sense, because promoting the cloud computing services through the release of the Lama 2 models would allow Windows to get another piece of the AI pie. Because when new companies are going to be using Lama 2 for their business, they might use the Microsoft Azure service to run the model. Meaning that here, the real money making for Windows is to provide GPU rating services to the new future companies using the Lama 2 models. So not only they would have a complete monopoly on closed source LLM like ChatGPT, but now they'll also be able to make money by providing cloud services to companies using the Lama 2 models. Which once again will solidify Microsoft as one of the biggest player in this AI war. So yeah, Microsoft, well, well done, well played. Now in a way I gotta say I don't really care about Microsoft's decision, it's still pretty cool that we have the Lama 2 models, they're really powerful, and for us consumers it will always be good that we have these kinds of open source models available for us. But to be honest, in a way I also feel kinda sad, because it seems like in the open source community, although we're constantly making new breakthroughs and discovering new amazing techniques, when it comes to actual implementation of those techniques, the ones who are leading these movements are big corporations, because they have all the resources and money. So I mean it seems like once again we are in the hands of big corporations and their willingness to give us some open source models that they created. Because if the open source community wanted to make something like the Lama 2 models all by themselves, it would have taken us several years. Whereas here in only 4 months we went from Lama 1 to Lama 2, with a huge boost in performance. Again, way more than the open source community could ever do. So yeah, I mean in a way I almost feel a little bit sad. It basically feels like no matter what we do, we will always be dead see in the palms of big corporations. But I mean, oh well, it is how it is, that's kind of the world we live in today. And again, when it comes to us normal consumers, in a way we will always be the winners. Because as time goes on, we will get better and better models. And essentially, in a way, the purpose of this video was not to tell you to use the Lama 2 models, but more to show you what they're capable of as of right now. Because in reality, no one will use the Lama 2 models as they are right now. The Lama 2 models are kind of like a base canvas. It's up to us to the community and make it a real better usable model. And so very soon we might see some new models fine-tuned on the base Lama 2. So yeah, I mean, once again, this is really the beginning of the release of much, much better models in the future. And for this, I really cannot wait. And if you also cannot wait for new AI news, I highly suggest that you subscribe to my AI newsletter called the AI Gaze, so that you can always stay up to date to the latest AI news, AI tools, and research. The link for it will be in the description down below. And there we are, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my YouTube and Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.